Some time later. Cue up the sentimental music, and it's time for the epilogue. Whoa there, Vivi. A little bit too close there. Vivi's son. You know, I'm not even sure what that means. And I'd prefer not to. If you're wondering, Vivi is actually speaking right now. And now it's time for Freya and Sir Fratley. Hey, it's not raining anymore in Burmesia. That is nice. What's Beatrix up to now? Suicide? Suicide? No. Suicide? Suicide? Um, it's up for debate. Amarant. Oh hey, it's Lonnie. Haven't seen her since we kicked her butt. Queena, you're a chef. That tongue hanging out seems oddly unsanitary. Whatever, it's medieval times. Aiko, Regent Sid, and Hilda. Ho ho ho! And my mustache is the greatest mustache ever. Father? Ah, uh, 
great. Suicide? Steiner? Suicide? Steiner? Thump? All right, Steiner. The old Tantalus gang. Let's see what they're up to. Giving shows. Speaking in southern drawls. It's not really clearly explained, but I like to believe that Vivi is speaking in these black and white text scenes. And one can infer that this is what he says before he expires or dies because of his naturally short lifespan as a black mage. Before the game wraps up, we get to see another play by the Tantalus. That is a reference to Squall and Cloud of Final Fantasy 7 VII and 8. <laughs> 